What is up YouTube? It is ZTexpert back again from Texpert.com. This time around I'm going to be showing you how to route your uh, Samsung uh, Epic 4G Touch. Uh, it's gonna, Mine is running Gingerbread uh, 2.3.6 and it is on EL29 so I'm going to be showing you the route for that. Um, as you can see here I have my phone out. Uh, I just have a couple of themes installed. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and uh, what you want to do is go ahead and just turn off your phone. Uh, we'll uh, we'll get back to that later. Go ahead and just power that off there. Okay. And what you want to do is go ahead and start downloading your prerequisite software. Um, what you will first want to do is download your Samsung uh, your Samsung drivers. If you don't have it, go ahead and just go ahead and click the links in the description and in the annotation. It'll take you to Texpert.com, which will then give you the link. Uh, and step by step, uh, step and step instructions if the video doesn't help or you need something to read along to. Uh, what you want to do is just download your USB drivers, already have those, and installed. And then the next thing you want to download is your choice of the root. Uh, number one, the number one option is um, the root that factory resets your phone and then installs uh, and then flashes uh, the software back onto your phone again. Your phone will be with factory settings but with root access. Uh, the second method is you can uh, go ahead and install the root onto your phone, but it'll preserve your data. Either way, whichever one you choose, your phone will be rooted. Um, but for those of you who just got your Samsung Galaxy phone, you know the first option you know doesn't really affect you. If you have data that you don't want to lose, go ahead and just preserve your data. Uh, the second thing you need to make sure you have or you have installed is uh, WinZip, WinRAR, or 7-Zip. I have WinRAR. Uh, that's my preference too. Go ahead and just choose whatever you want. That's just extracting software and you'll need it to move some files around that we're going to download. Um, after you're done downloading your choice of the root, uh, go ahead and just extract it to your desktop again using that software. And uh, I have mine as, uh, as you can see, I have both of them installed right here. It's a root clean data or root preserve data. I'm going to go ahead and use the one that says root, uh, root preserve data. And go ahead and just right click, this is important if you're using Windows Vista or Windows 7. Right click the EXE and hit run as administrator. Uh, you're going to need this to be able to transfer files and uh, get the permissions that this program asks for from your computer. Um, let's see, while we wait for that to open up, it seems like it's taking a little while. Uh, you want to go ahead and put your phone into uh, Odin mode, Odin download mode. All that is is you hold uh, the power and volume down button at the same time for a, until you get a screen that looks like that. Warning: a custom OS can cause critical problems. What you want to do when you see the screen is just hit volume up. So you can see it'll go to downloading, and then once your uh, once the root exe runs, as you can see, this is what the screen looks like. Stock. Now you have your phone in download mode. All you have to do is just plug it into the computer. And sometimes, if you're using stock, uh, you know, Samsung cables, sometimes it has a hard time since Samsung for some reason uses uh, very low quality USB cables. So what you want to do is just go ahead and plug it in. See, so you recognize it, and what you're supposed to see pop up is that yellow uh, com, com box right there, it'll say com and then a number, it doesn't really matter to what number, just as long as that pops up. And if you're having problems at this step, try using a different cables, um, for more right here on the internet, Blackberry's cable work, uh, if you have, if you had an old Droid phone, old Android phone, uh, go ahead and plug that in, as long as it's a USB, uh, a micro USB plugging into your computer and can plug into your phone, that should work fine. And the next step is all you have to do is hit start. Now this process takes uh, a little while um, and you should uh, just see this please wait. Let's go ahead and wait. You'll see a green progress bar pop up right here and then a blue progress bar appear on your phone. You see it's setting up the connection, it's uh, initializing, I'm sorry, get, getting the pit for mapping, all of that good stuff. And this process usually takes about five to ten minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just come back when it's done. Okay, as you see here, it is almost done installing 
uh, the root. You're gonna see uh, the progress bar. Uh, sorry, the progress bar uh, fill up to green again, and then the blue bar to your phone should be almost at the end by now. And again, if you had any problems uh, with Odin begun at the beginning of the execution, you know, uh, go ahead and uh, just try reinstalling drivers. Um, try different cables or, or again or try just re-downloading software a lot of the software out there right now for some reason shows up as corrupt or empty um, but the links that I give you should be 100% uh, completely safe and completely <laughs> not uncorrupt alright so it takes a little while here and as you see it says reset it just reset my phone right now and it says pass. That passing means it's good. Um, all threads completed. Succeed one. My phone is now rooted. But you see now it's going through the update process on the phone, and should be starting up very very soon. And we're gonna go through the sprint. 4G. I really hate that. But just gonna have to change that. And now that you do have root installed, you can change the uh, the boot screens, you know, different ROMs, whatever you like. And there we go. It's preparing the SD card. Let's go ahead and just wait. Media scanner is running. Let's go ahead and just move that. Looks like all my settings are still there. All my programs are still there. So if you use the preserved data, then you're all set. Sometimes your phone will pop up this, checking for firmware update. Um, occasionally. Whenever I root my Samsung, I occasionally pops up with a firmware update. Just to be safe, I just don't install it until I figure out what that update is. If it's a viable update, then I go ahead. But let's go ahead and get cancel. It usually does that at the beginning. And let's go ahead and try a program again. Actually, first let's look for a super user on there. A and looks like super user is here. It's at the very end. Uh, it's ready to go. Let's go ahead and click on it. And my apps are there. Everything's there. Let's go ahead and just make sure the apps that need root are working. Titanium backup. And as you can see, it says right there root access check. My phone has now been rooted. Um, you can now use your phone for a wireless tether, install custom ROMs. And I'll go ahead and include those videos once you're done on how to uh, uh, install wireless tethering on your phone. Again, this is ZTexpert again. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to uh, comment, give a thumbs up. If you have any problems, again, just leave a comment in the box right there and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.